name is Ann Kenny, and as the Carl A. Kroc University Librarian, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the Cornell University Library, the center of Cornell's rich academic life. To celebrate Cornell's history, the library has created a series of online tours to showcase the library's central role in the university's early development. To Andrew Dixon White, co-founder and first president of Cornell, the ideas of a great university and a great library were inextricably linked. Built as Cornell's first dedicated library building, the University Library, now known as Eurus Library, opened on October 7, 1891, the 23rd anniversary of the day that classes began at the university. Its completion fulfilled A.D. White's dream to create what he called the noblest structure in the land. Designed by Cornell's first architecture student, William Henry Miller, whose portrait hangs on the north wall of the lobby, the building featured an innovative design that allowed for convenient access to materials and was, in White's words, a marvel of good planning in which fitness is wedded to beauty. He also considered it the best academic library built. Miller's architectural influence looms large on campus, in addition to the library, which is considered his masterpiece, he designed four other major university buildings, Barnes Hall, Stimson Hall, Boardman Hall, and Risley Hall, as well as two fraternities, the A.D. White House, the Central Avenue Bridge, and Eddy Gate. Miller also designed numerous residential business and church buildings in Ithaca and the region. Built in an Americanized or Richardsonian Romanesque style, the library is a cross-shaped structure with arcades of arches and squared windows. It is a cruciform basilica that features a large reading room, a nave with excellent natural lighting from 29 windows and 20 clear story windows. For a university famously founded as a non-sectarian institution, the new library building was Andrew Dixon White's secular cathedral devoted to books and learning. As the building was dedicated on that October afternoon, Cornell President Charles K. Adams noted, Today we come together with glad hearts to celebrate the completion of what must for all time be the most important structure on these grounds. I invite you to explore this most important structure and the rest of our world-class library. You just might be surprised by what you discover.